Okay, it's a Thursday night just before midnight. I'm about to head off to bed. Uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at layer 249 of 785. About to do a color change. And yeah, looking very nice. Nice details, windows coming out good. Ah, we'll see how it looks in the morning. Uh, Friday night, just about to head to bed, and we're up to layer 403, 81.79% uh, complete, and everything went good apart from had a stoppage, red filament broke in the tube when it was supposed to retract, um, so it didn't retract properly, so I had to clear the tube, um, rethread the red filament, and off it went again, so... All looking good. Uh, we'll see where we are in the morning. Oh, getting closer to the end. Layer 598. 96.51% uh, complete. Uh, getting close. So I'm going to head off to bed and this should be done in the morning. Um, so since the last update, what's happened? Um... As well as printing, I've had two filament changes. The silver ran out, I replaced that. The black ran out, I replaced that. Since the silver ran out, I uh, did have two stoppages. It wasn't filament breakages, it just kept reporting that there was an issue feeding. And I think it's the cardboard roll. Um, yeah, cardboard rolls really are rubbish. They're big, thick and heavy, they tend to get a bit bent in the packaging, uh, it wasn't rolling right, um, so I didn't have to do anything other than just start it going again. Um, so yeah, I think it's the cardboard that just doesn't go down well with these Ace machines. Um, I did also have two filament breakages in the Ace, two filaments that weren't being used, they just broke in the holes. Uh, and came out, uh, refed them um, when I was doing the uh, filament changes and everything's good but I think that's just a sign of how certain filaments are brittle and will break regardless. And an example of that is this one here. So on the Elegoo, uh it's a single color printer, uh, it was printing white, did everything fine and then this was sitting idle for a couple of days and you can see that this filament broke twice just sitting on the printer. So it snapped after the filament out sensor here and it also snapped between the spool and the top of the sensor as well for no reason. I mean other than just the tension on the filament and I think that's probably a lot of the problems with uh, some of the breakages in here. It's NAF filament. Uh, it's brittle, doesn't like being bent in a certain shape and if you just leave it idle like with the green and the orange which weren't being used it's just gonna break at a point where there's tension on it. Um, yeah. So Anyway, I'm keeping a record of every filament that breaks to see if I can narrow it down to a brand or whatever. I did have that roll of green stuff. In fact, it's in here in my trash box because I finally gave up on it, uh, which was breaking in the spool holder. It was breaking in the carbon. It was breaking everywhere. Um, finally had enough through what was left away. Um, so anyway, catch you all in the morning where I should hopefully have a complete top half to the saucer section of Voyager. Good night. At long last, so 101 hours and 50 minutes and 39 seconds. So that's the top of uh, the Voyager. Um, I do feel some layer lines on this. Uh, I don't know if that's the effect of blowing it up. Or whether that's just brought on with the constant layer changes 
But uh, apart from that, um, yeah, the rest of it is the is very good. Uh, a couple of pieces of colour here where I guess the the thickness level wasn't as much as it needed to be. But I can get a yellow paintbrush in there and uh, add a bit of paint in those marks. Um, but apart from that, that has that's come out really good, and that will save uh, an awful lot of painting. So because now I'm going to do the there's pieces to go in here, in here, in here, nameplates to go in there, more bits to go in here. So I've got to print all those out and start slotting them in. And of course, one large undersection to that before I even move on to the back of the uh, spacecraft. But uh, yeah, quite interesting. Uh, this is a brim here, so if you're wondering about that, that's the actual edge of the that's the actual edge of the ship there. So I've got to peel this brim off and sand that up to the edge. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. Uh, the grey started behaving correctly after a while. I did adjust the tubes in here to straighten them up. It, like I say, it wasn't breaking, but it was something was going on with the either the retraction or the feed. Um, but once I got those tubes more vertical again, uh, it stopped. Either that or it just lost enough filament off the reel to make it light enough where it was spinning properly. But really don't like these cardboard spools. All right, well, let's go and see what I can do next. That's all. Having taken the brim off, I just thought I'd give you a quick look just to show you how solid this thing is. There's the the underside. I think I could have done it with a little less infill. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's not going to be bad, this thing. So, just going to get on with the other pieces. I've got a couple of things I need to run off on the printer before I start on any more. And then I'll continue with the Voyager.